and welcome to this week's coffee vlog. It's now Friday the 19th of May. Yes, finally a Friday and doing the vlog back to normal almost, as it seems. Um, it's about half nine, I think, or getting on for half nine in the morning. Um, so yes, finally recovered from the double bank holiday um, whammy. Um, so back to normal this week, full week of working. Um, just helps fit in all the time to do stuff. Um, but again, another busy week, um, loads of roasting. Um, Ploughing on with the roasting like crazy at the moment. It seems like uh, everything's going on. So, um, yeah, so roasting's been really busy. Both roasters have been running, shifted a lot of different coffees. Uh, we've had some people come for some training on the roaster. Um, we've had some roasters ordered as well, which is good, always adds on. And uh, yeah, generally uh, been a very busy week. Um, of course, it had to get the Toyota RAV4 um, cleaned up, tidied up, washed. Um, well, I had to get car wash, I didn't wash it. Um, hand car wash, of course. And, um, but who would all out, flash dashed to death inside so it'll look shiny and pristine. Because uh, that went back on Wednesday, the two-year le lease ended. Um, so, uh, so yeah, bye-bye to Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, which, um, yeah, I loved it, actually. It was a really good car. Um, very impressed with that. So, um, so yes, I had the van Wednesday. Um, but uh, yesterday, I went to Manchester Trafford Centre Overflow Car Park um, to a little area on the side of the Overflow Park car park that had possibly about 600 odd Teslas in it. Um, it was an ocean of Teslas. You just couldn't, all you could see was Teslas, Teslas everywhere. Amazing. Um, because um, I had finally decided, which I was going to do two and a half years ago, three years ago, really was go towards a Tesla. Um, but the bigger Model Y wasn't out then. Um, and Really, this year, Elon Musk pushed it even further by dropping the Model Y price by 25% since January, which is a whopping decrease. Um, uh, and for what you get um, for the money now, you can't get any other manufacturer car for that price. It's, um, it's just really astounding, actually, how, how low he's dropped the Model Ys and Model 3s for to push sales. Um, but they yeah, are, um, I mean, it's good. It's bad for anyone who ordered maybe last December or when they were first launched last, I think it was May last or June last year, June, July, Model Y launched in the UK because they paid a heck of a lot more uh, for their cars. Uh, and of course they're worth a lot less now because you know, the main price has gone down. Um, but I think this is about the sweet spot. They've been saying in America that prices have nudged up by only a few hundred dollars on both models, which market analysts are saying is an indication from Tesla that they won't drop any more. People should not hold out and just get in and buy because they want to shift more units. Um, so possibly it'll start increasing again. I don't know. So picked up Model Y. Um, as I expected, and contrary to all the bemoaners about Tesla, about different things, it's an amazing car. It's just astounding. Um, love it. Love it to bits. Motorway driving, coming back from Manchester, just pff, the enhanced autopilot, it just does everything for you. Um, acceleration, it, well, that's ludicrous, really, but um, yeah, it, it does nip off really quick. Surprising thing is how quickly it decelerates when you reduce your foot off the accelerator just with the regen braking. It just completely comes to a stop if you take your foot off the accelerator. So there's a bit of getting used to tethering that accelerator so you're not kind of coming to a rapid stop, surprising people behind you. Um, but yeah, no, it, it, it's great. So many features in it as well. Uh, and the things that people bemoaned about that I just, I'm like, I think people like moaning for the sake of moaning. It's things like, oh, you can't open the glove box without finding a thing in the menu. But the thing is, you can hold down the right hand scroll wheel on the dashboard and tell it to do anything you want in the car. So you, you hold that down and say, open the glove box. It opens, 
it's that easy and you, you know anything you want to do you want the temperature to turn up temperature to turn down you want headlights to come on anything you can voice command it so actually the fact there's no physical buttons isn't an issue with a tesla because the voice command works perfectly it, every time i've used it now which is loads it understands me perfectly and does what i want it to do um so yeah that that whole buttons thing that's a complete non-starter for me i think people you know don't they assume more than get in and, and try and, and figure out what's going on with the car so so yeah um generally just pick the model y up and yeah it's great <laughs> love it <laughs> so um might end up doing some hive posts on that in future i don't know if i get a chance um i guess we better do mr nice's words because i know we did some missing uh, so, see if I can find, because I have many, many things in here going on. Uh, I'm missing him somewhere. I must have skipped him. There he is. How much this no, this must have been a new one because it was Sunday you sent it to me. Random day. So, Mr. Nolly says, My things to talk about on your vlog. I've watched about Schmidt starring Jack Nicholson, but only bits of it as I have mostly watched the chapters of when Warren's wife called Helen died and the end chapter of the film when Warren looked at the letter from the nun about the six year old male African orphans orphan he sponsored. Been to the Golden Aiken Park and Adele Dam Nature Reserve with Suzanne Wardle on Saturday. My niece called Charlotte as it was her birthday this past Sunday and she used to be a Super Mario fan as she's now a Danger Mouse fan. I have been to Lightcliff Tea Rooms with my mum and grandma on Sunday sun, lunch on Sunday. I hope you drank a lot of coffee. My mum going to church from Monday the week, this week onwards and twenty something is amazed that my dad firstly is doing exam training from Tuesday to Friday and then we'll have to week a week off there to join my mum, a week after to get some sun on him. Whilst I'm going to Christchurch with them from the 4th to 13th of August, as there's jazz festival in Christchurch, lovely. I will see the tiger who came to tea at the Victoria Theatre with Susan Wardle on Saturday the 22nd of July. She will discuss with her outreach head called Amy as the show costs £16. Very good. Yes, that all sounds interesting. So yes, um, all going on this week, really. Um, supposed to be getting some warmer weather, hopefully, over the weekend. And um, yeah, we'll see what um, happens next week, plows on with. So I'll try and get back to a, a weekly Friday vlog if I can, possibly. So other than that, I think I'm probably about done now. So have a good weekend, week next week, and I'll catch you next week's coffee vlog. Okay, see ya.